Hello again, everyone. Um, the next artist, she's firmly established as one of Finland's major talents and celebrated stars. It's my personal privilege to have Sarah Alto from Finland here. Please give your applause to her. Five minutes for a photo opportunity here on this side of the stage. So if you want to come, come now. Tonight I'm making friends with all the creatures that are hiding there under my bed I ain't gonna hold on to these monsters anymore Now I'm gonna let in all the light turn down the walls At my worst I found my army strong, all the demons are gone She comes. I loved all the poses. That was great. Loved it. There, please. You have the microphone. Sarah Alto, welcome to Lisbon. Obrigada. <laughs> Nada. <laughs> great. Uh, Kitos. 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 Um, so you were telling me there on the backstage that there were some issues <laughs> with the rehearsal, but generally you're feeling positive about uh, the whole thing. Yes, yes. You always have to have some technical issues to give more, you know, pressure and challenge. Yes. I love challenge, so why not? Yes, we have a set piece that didn't work, unfortunately, but we are fixing it now. It, it's going to be fine. <laughs> so you actually brought the best of two of your songs. So you brought the thing from Domino that you used to be uh, upside down and you still brought Monsters to Lisbon. Was that an idea that came after the performance with, with Domino? Yes, yes, it did. It just kind of worked so well. Yeah. And I really love to sing Upside Down. It's so <laughs> much fun. You know, you feel the blood in your head. It's quite, actually, that, that's quite disgusting. But Does it hurt? <laughs> but, but it's so much fun. Uh, I, I was like, okay, Eurovision stage has been my dream for the last 20 years. And... When I go on that stage, I want to do something that I will remember for the rest of my life. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to take some risks. And I'm, I, 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 have, I do uh, make quite many risks in my performance. But, you know, that's life. You have to take risks and not being scared. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. And uh, so the, 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 the fact that, you're, that you, you're, you've been to Lisbon uh, before, right? We did film the postcard here. Yes, but you also did a performance in a club. Oh, yes, Aha. I did. <laughs> wow, you know everything I about me. I know everything me. about you, yeah, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Stalker. You're going to get married in the summer, aren't you? <laughs> He know everything. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. Uh, you want to come to the wedding? Yeah. No, I'm also getting married in the summer. So oh, you are getting yeah. married. Oh, double wedding maybe? W are, we, are we getting married together? No. Maybe we should. <laughs> 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 okay. No. Yeah. Yes. So, so you had this. Uh, how was the reaction to the song? Because it was the first time, like, with the Portuguese uh, audience listening to Monsters. Did they know the the lyrics already by heart? In the club? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They did. Yes. They were so loud. I was so like, I was so happy. 
You know, because when you visit some new country for the first time, you have no idea if people are going to know you or if they're going to love you. Or I had no idea. Yeah. And it was one of the best moments ever. Like, like how they were singing and dancing with me. Oh, it was so beautiful. It was nice. Great. Um, you sang Monsters in 34 languages. How on earth did you learn that by heart? What was the pro were you just I don't know how, how did the idea came up? You decided I yeah, want to I just decided to language. do that. Yes. <laughs> you just decided. It. <laughs> yeah, because I like languages and I've done these multi-language things before. Yeah. Like let it go mm -hmm. in 15 languages, and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna do monsters in some languages, and then I started choosing the languages, and I just I, I just realized that I couldn't choose. I was like, it's going to be unfair if I choose this and not this. And then I was like, I'm going to take all of them. So all the Eurovision countries, basically. And, and, and do, do you still know it by heart? Is that possible? Yes, of course. You still know it. Of so can you, can you sing the, the Portuguese bit of it? E esta noite faço amigos com todas as criaturas da minha mãe. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are a genius, Sarah. I have to tell you, you're great. Um, so he's so nice. <laughs> no, no, you are so nice. Uh, what is now the concept behind your staging? Because you had a concept for uh, for the Finnish uh, yeah. pre-selection, and now you change it for Lisbon. Yeah, you How know, much did you change, and what are, what is what is it behind it? You know, in, in Finland. I had three songs, so we had to make sure all those three songs and all those three performances were completely different. Mm. And now, when I only have one song, we could basically choose whatever we want. Yeah. And the concept of this performance is, is me being freed. You know, in, in the beginning, I'm attached to this set piece that is rotating. It's like my mind, like, you know, it's all confusing, and I'm like, oh, I need to, you know, break free, I need to get out. And then these monsters, all these creatures are coming to me and, and, and you know, releasing me and then we are marching to get together to the freedom, you know. So it's like, you know, and me being the, you know, I'm ruling my own world, you know, in the end I'm, I'm climbing up to... Ooh, ooh careful. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm climbing up those stairs and, you know, like, do do you know. Yeah, I, I, I have <laughs> Basic life. <laughs> I just have the impression that you just, you don't, don't want to sing, you want to act, you want to dance, you want to you do everything on stage, which is, again, great. Yeah, but, you know, like you, like you saw in the multi-language version, yeah. I also like to just play and sing, and, but I have so many sides of me, and I just decided that on Eurovision stage, I want to do it all, you know. It's like, I, I, can, I can play, and, and uh, I can play the piano and sing everywhere, but these big shows, mm. I can't do everywhere. So I decided that I really want to do That's it all. That's the opportunity. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's go once for it. in a yeah, lifetime opportunity to do something that big. Great. Okay. Questions. Oof. Whoa. Okay. Uh, here. Cool. I think here it was yeah. on the third row. Thank you. Hello, Sara. Hello. Uh, I, we already met uh, back in the club that was mentioned. Okay, so you um, have the reaction here live. It was great, by the can way. You tell, can you say yes. your name? My name is okay. Pedro, I'm from Eurovisionary. And my question has to do with your performance, which allow me to say was really good. Uh, I want to know, is, maybe this is me as, uh, assuming it, but is there a possible reference to the Lordy performance in the end? Because, <laughs> you know, uh, monsters, monsters, uh, fireworks, who knows? <clears throat> it's actually quite funny because in the original, original plan that, that Brian Friedman did, he wanted me actually to have this kind of, how do you call it, like the, the, the Lord, huh? I don't know. It, like the one that Lordy had, like the yeah. stick, and he wanted me and to nice. have that. And I was like, Brian, like we did it already. <laughs> And, and we won, though, but I can't do it the same thing. And then, you know, but now I, I have the pyro, so it kind of... But it wasn't actually taken from Lordy because Brian Friedman had no idea that Lordy did it, but... <laughs> but, it's smart my guy. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's definitely time for Finland to win Eurovision again, so maybe oh, this oh, connection, yes. it's, a, it's, it's a good connection. <laughs> there in the back. It's <coughs> Michael here, Michael Pohl from Joy 94.9 in Melbourne, Australia. Um, and well, firstly, it's good to see a Xenia Warrior Disney princess, Kylie Minogue, on the stage. Wow. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> However, the question is, um, you've gone from being firmly in the closet 
to coming out and being out and proud. And the performance today and your music video for Monsters is very queer um, and, and very exciting. What freedoms, you were talking about, about that freedom of being yourself, what freedoms has coming out had for you personally and also as a musician? You mean what kind of freedom it gave to me yeah. to, when I came out? Yeah. Well, for me, um, I was with my beautiful girlfriend. Uh, I was together with her for one year before we came out. So, of course, it was really awkward when I would be everywhere and do my social media and be like, oh, I'm, I'm the happiest girl in the world and always posing on my own and, like, you know, enjoying these moments on my own, which was like, what the... Mm, I have this girl like next to me but I'm not allowed to kind of be like oh we're here together so you know when, when you when you actually come out it's like the best feeling ever because you can actually say that I am happy because I am in love and love is the most important thing in the world so it's like it kind of it's like you can breathe again it, it's such an amazing feeling and also Good question. As a musician, as a performer, it, it also gives me freedom, actually, to really represent my, myself, you know? It's like, I feel like, at the moment, I have no rules, because I... Oh, I actually, I love these questions. Nobody has ever asked me that, so I'm like, yeah. Like, now when I perform, it's like, I can do whatever I want, because I know there is no walls, or there is nothing there it's just me and I can be exactly what I want and I can do the performance that I want and if somebody doesn't like it that person can just leave you know that person doesn't have to come and see me if, if, if you know I'm just myself thank you for the question yes Sarah you're an inspiration you thank are you. <laughs> here in the front I love the what the mm. <laughs> what? You say like, what the mm. Yeah. What the mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sarah. It's JP from Radio International. Nice to meet you. And uh, my question is about your album that you have been working on while you got the phone call to take uh, Finland to Eurovision. What type of music is on that album and when it will, will, it, will it be released and what's the name of it? Yes. So, actually, my album Wild Wild Wonderland was officially released last Friday. So it's already out, but um, so it's out on Spotify, on iTunes, and it was physically released in Finland, and it's going to be released a bit later in other countries because, you know, all these release dates are a bit different everywhere. Uh, but you can go and listen to it already. So, oh, have you heard it? Oh, did you like it? <laughs> he said yes. <laughs> so it's... Um, it's a happy it face. <laughs> um, oh, oh, heart. Heart. <laughs> um, it's... Happy, quirky, colorful. It's like real pop music. Uh, most of the songs are up tempo, but also there is one beautiful piano vocal ballad in it. Um, you definitely have to check it out so you can make your own opinion about it. But uh, I mean, if you like Eurovision, if you like me on the X Factor, I think you're going to love the album. Right <laughs> there in the second row, third row, sorry. <laughs> A lot of demand. Hi, Huva Ilte Fiva. Huva Ilte Fiva. Wow. Hi, I'm Simon from Polish Radio Newsletter. You were always second in every competition. <laughs> uh, would you accept second place in the Eurovision final? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because I, I have never failed. I have come second five times, so I don't know how to fail with that. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, and the question is actually about, because it was your dream to come here for 20 years, my God. You look like 20 years old, girl. <laughs> and uh, what next then? After... After your vision, so... Yeah, after your dream. Um, so actually, <laughs> straight after your vision, I'm going to rehearse um, for... I, I'm going to be a special guest on, on UK Stadium Tour for Steps. There is a band called Step, so I'm going to be their special guest. And we start the rehearsals <laughs> on 16th of May. <laughs> so it's like no rest for me. Um, and that's basically what I'm doing in the summer, touring in the UK. And also, hopefully, 
when Eurovision goes very well, then I'm also going to perform in other countries when we actually see which countries like me, which countries will vote for me. I'm definitely going to be touring everywhere with my new songs and my new album. Thank Busy you. schedule. Here uh, in the first row, who has the microphone? Hello, it's James from ESC Social and hey. iLift Media. Sarah, it's 30 years ago since Scott Fitzgerald came second for the UK. Obviously, his son has written the song. Can we expect to see Scott coming along to support him and yourself? Because it was his 70th birthday yesterday, as we all know. Oh, I didn't know, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, it's funny, when, when I, I met Kai, in a studio when we when we wrote Monsters and it was the first time I actually ever ever met him and then he was like oh by the way my dad uh, came second in the Eurovision second this is a sign <laughs> oh my god <laughs> his dad came second in the Eurovision and I was and he lost for Celine Dion which is not bad um, and and I was like what really so he had this natural connection to Eurovision and 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 Kai is is coming here but I'm actually not sure about his dad. I'm not sure. I should ask. Yeah. Would you want to see him here? Absolutely. Wait. I do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> You're this year Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're on the third row. Hi, Sarah. I'm hey. Frank from Out and About De uh, magazine in Denmark. There's a lot of gay people who like, oh, sort of male gay people who like the Eurovision, but not many lesbians. And there are our gay uh, really? Eurovision commentator in Denmark, he thinks that gays are too dull. What do you think? Sorry, can you repeat the question? There's, there's a lot of uh, gay men who like the Eurovision, yes. but not many lesbians. Sort of, and you're the your first open lesbian on, in the competition, I think. Am I? Yeah, I think so. Really? Really? Yeah. Um, our Danish uh, gay Eurovision commentator, he thinks that gays are too dull and grey. What do you think? That lesbians are too dull and grey for Eurovision, yeah. if I got it yeah, right. Um, okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's all think about what it now a for a second. tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. All the lesbians that I know are really <laughs> funny and, and like up to your vision. So I don't know and what kind of lesbians are, not, are in but Denmark. That's also okay. huh? And some are not, but that's also fine. Exactly. <laughs> we can all be whatever we want to be. Um, but I have never really thought about that. Um, maybe we need to help the lesbians. We yes. need to really help them. Let's make a petition. Help the lesbians I, yeah. love Eurovision. Maybe, <laughs> may, what, maybe, maybe they feel like, I don't know, maybe they're too scared to come here. I don't know. We should like, you know, invite them. Be like, come on, join us. I think they would love it. I yeah. know for a fact that there are, man, there are many lesbians loving Eurovision. Yeah, me too. Sure. I, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, last question from Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on your first rehearsal. Um, uh, my name is Michael, and I'm from EurovisionBulgaria.com. Oh, yes. Thank you. My question for you is: uh, We probably know that you have your birthday soon, probably on second of May. What are you going to do to celebrate? Yes, that's true. I have my birthday on Wednesday. It's Monday now, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's in two days. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I think this is a hint for a surprise party or something like that. Oh. I didn't prepare anything. I don't know, <laughs> there might be something coming, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I absolutely forgot, forgot about my birthday. I'm always so busy that I, yeah. But you know, it's, it's age. Mm, mm, you know. You don't want to celebrate it. <laughs> no, but I definitely, I have to have a party. I have to have a party. I'm definitely. here. And having my birthday. Let's go to the club again, to the same club. I, to the same club? Yeah, Maybe we why should. Not? Let's be great. think about it. Yeah, let's talk about okay, it. Okay, one very quick last question there. I love those t shirts. Very nice. Hi, Alistair Birch from. Oh, your, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, oh. there's something. An birthday. Act. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hug, hug, hug. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, wow. That's very special. Very sorry, your special. question was completely so interrupted sorry. by this act. No uh, okay. Uh, hi, Alistair Birch from Europhile. I understand you released an album mostly in Chinese. Um, did you have to adapt your style for the local market? And can we maybe hear a couple of lines of your favorite Chinese language song? Um, yeah, so, yeah, like three, four, hmm. Oh God, time goes so quickly. Four years ago around, yeah, I, I did quite many performances in China, uh, big ones, and it was really great. And also released one album in Mandarin Chinese. I really love Chinese language a lot. It's so beautiful when you sing it. And, um, but actually I didn't have to adapt my style at that time, really. Um, they really like, like Asian people like Finland. Maybe they somehow see Finnish people being very exotic and, and beautiful and they love snow and Santa Claus. And you know, for them, I was like, actually my, my Chinese name is Xuelan, which, which means snow flower. So for them, it was like, wow, this snow flower from Finland. And, you know, they, they really like, like my style. And I actually look a bit Asian, I think, or I don't know. But, you know, dark hair and it, they, they liked it. And my favorite Chinese song is called Hui Jia. <laughs> and okay, I'll sing it a bit, okay? Hui Jia, Hui Jia, Wo Shi Yao Ni. It's like, oh, please return home. I really need you. Clap, please. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves Finland, everybody loves Sara Alto, everybody loves Sara Alto singing in Chinese. <laughs> A warm applause for her, please, and thank, thank you, you so for coming. Much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm waiting for that invitation for the party, eh? <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs>